In patients with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, there is a dynamic left ventricular outflow tract obstruction due to the combination of asymmetric septal hypertrophy and systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve, also commonly referred to as SAM and ASH. This creates varying degrees of mitral regurgitation as well. Maneuvers that reduce ventricular volume increase the obstruction, loudness of the murmur, and likelihood of mitral regurgitation. Maneuvers that increase ventricular volume reduce the severity of the obstruction or mitral regurgitation. In the following recording, we'll be listening over the apex in a gentleman with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. At rest, there will be a seemingly innocuous, short, high-frequency murmur. As he takes a breath in and strains against a closed glottis, the Valsalva maneuver, we'll hear an increase in the loudness of the obstructive murmur, and several beats into the strain phase, you'll begin to hear a change in the character of the murmur as he begins to develop mitral regurgitation. In the following recording, the same gentleman with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy will demonstrate the impact of standing and squatting. In the squatting position, there is an increased return of blood to the heart and a slight increase in afterload. That combination increases left ventricular volume, thus diminishing the loudness of the murmur or likelihood of mitral regurgitation. Upon standing, he will quickly go through increasing obstruction and on to mitral regurgitation. Mm -hmm. 